a very good morning, my dear students. In the last class, we calculated the probability of error for binary ASK system. And we obtained the probability of error for binary ASK as half ERFC of uh, root EB by 4 and 1. We obtained it as half ERFC of root EB by 4 and 0. So because uh, the EB by N0 is reduced by a factor of 4 inside the root, we can say that the probability of error is high for binary ASK system. So today we can calculate the, pro calculate the probability of error for binary PSK system. So this is uh, module 5 of your chapter uh, 3. And uh, here we can calculate the output SNR as well as the probability of error for binary phase shift keying signal. See, almost all you follow the same procedure what we did for binary ASK system. First, uh, make use of uh, optimum filter general expression for probability of error. See, for calculation of probability of error for binary ASK or uh, even for matched filter, what we did, uh, we, our intention is to get the optimized SNR value because our intention is to reduce the probability of error. To extract the optimum value of SNR or the highest value of SNR, uh, make use of, op we used optimum filter analysis because in the optimum filter, we used the threshold value as average of the two output signal levels. So at that instant, we considered the threshold as the optimum, uh, the threshold which gives the optimum response for SNR. So every time let us make use of optimum filter probability of error expression and make and uh, you can be able to generate the probability of error for all the corresponding systems. So using probability of error, so using the probability of error expression for optimum filter, see already we derived the expression and we got as half ERFC of x01 of t minus x02 of t divided by 2 root 2 sigma. And what we did then and then we defined the square of output SNR. What is that square of output SNR? X01 of t minus X02 of t divided by sigma. We considered that factor as, square. we squared that and we considered as rho max. Why we mentioned a max here suffix? The suffix max represents that the rho value, which is the square of output SNR should be maximized. So rho max uh, in optimum filter, that is in module two, we calculated the rho max as x naught of t by sigma whole square. That is the internal factor of complementary error function. We obtained that as minus infinite to plus infinite uh, mod x of f square divided by SNI of f into df. Okay, so this is our uh, square of output SNR which we obtained in the case of optimum filter. Now, every time you should make use of these two expressions. One is the probability of error and other is the square of output SNR. So make use of these two expressions as usual for calculation of probability of error for VPSK signal. Okay, so already I told you that whenever the Gaussian noise, if it is assumed to be white in nature, so we assume the input noise PSD, which is Gaussian in nature as some white nature, then white noise has uniform power spectral distribution. So let us assume SNI of F as N0 by 2. SNI of F as N0 by 2. So if you assume SNI of F as N0 by 2, uh, the square of the output SNR rho max will be, please replace SNI of F as N0 by 2 and take that to the numerator. And take that to the numerator so that you will get 2 by n naught integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square df. Okay, so finally you got the square of output SNR rho max as 2 by n naught integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square df. See, uh, uh, this is sincere request to all of the students that uh, we are using almost all same uh, analysis for calculation of probability of error for all the systems. So kindly don't uh, uh, leave this unit. This uh, with this unit uh, you can easily score good marks. Okay. See almost all the first slide and as well as the second slide. So almost all both are same for 
all the derivations. Okay, so then what we did, we used the Parswell's theorem. Uh, so which is uh, integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square df, which is equal to integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of t whole square dt. So what it means, so integration of mag magnitude square of a particular function in frequency domain are equal. So you can replace mod x of f square df as see this equation. Here uh, we are applying the Parseval theorem uh, for the bit interval tb to the square of output SNR expression. Then you can replace mod x of f square df as mod x of t square dt. So it will be 2 by n0 integral 0 to tb mod x of t square dt. See up to this the analysis is almost all same for both BPSK and BASK. And then what we did? We can, we, this is x of t is the change in the input signal. Okay, change in input signal. That is equal to x1 of t minus x2 of t. x1 of t minus x2 of t. Where x1 of t is the positive magnitude of the input signal. And x2 of t is the Sorry, x2 of t is the negative magnitude of the input signal. x2 of t is the negative magnitude of input signal. That is, if you replace x1 of t and x2 of t levels of the input signal, you can uh, assess the probability of error for BPSK system. See here, rho max is 2 by n0 integral 0 to tb. We replaced x of t as x1 of t minus x2 of t square tt. Okay, now let us go through the definition of BPSK system and after substituting the positive level and negative level in the rho max expression, first we'll calculate the rho max. What is rho max? Square of output SNR. Then after that, what we'll do? Uh, that square of uh, rho max, uh, square of output SNR, you'll obtain. Then uh, get the output SNR and substitute in the probability of error expression for BPSK system. Okay. So let us move to the next slide. So here in this slide, you can observe the you can observe the definition for binary phase shift keying signal. Binary phase shift keying signal. Uh, what are the two levels of BPSK signal? Please observe X1 of T x1 of t is root 2ps into cos omega ct. This is for data bit 1. Whenever the input is 1, okay, input signal is of positive magnitude level because uh, here in the case of BPSK, the input is bipolar. The input is bipolar. So that's why whenever the data is 1, so the voltage level will be plus 1. So uh, input magnitude, positive magnitude x1 of t will be root 2 ps cos omega ct and uh, whenever the data bit is 0 you will have a phase shift of pi uh, why you have phase shift of pi because it's a binary phase shift key here we'll transmit only one data bit that is only one data bit is accumulated in a particular symbol because this is binary psk so only one data bit is present in one particular symbol because in the BPSK there is only one data bit for symbol, we'll have 2 power 1 number of phase changes because PSK is a phase variable signal. Okay, the phase of the sinusoidal carrier is varied or switched in a, in a, with respect to level 1 and 0. So uh, that's why you here you will have 2 power 1 number of phase changes. That is 2 changes will be there. 2 phase changes will be there. Uh, the first one is if you consider uh, 0 and other will be 180 degrees because the phase difference between two successive symbols in BPSK is 180 degrees. If for simplicity, if you assume the first phase variation as 0 and second phase variation will be 180 degrees. So that's why here you can represent it as AC cos omega CT where AC is root 2 PS. 
because the amplitude of carrier you can represent as you can replace the amplitude of carrier in terms of power dissipated per symbol as a root 2 ps so that's why you can write directly as ac or root 2 ps cos omega ct plus 0 plus 0 uh, like uh, do not add any value so that is why we will get cos omega ct okay now coming to the negative magnitude for data 0 you will have minus 1 magnitude okay and the phase will be 180 degrees phase change is 180 so cos omega ct plus pi you will get that is plus 180 degrees so it, if it is like that uh, plus 180 cos omega ct plus 180 degrees will be minus cos omega ct so that's why minus root 2 ps cos omega ct this is for data 0 this is for data 0 okay so for data 0 you will have phase difference of 180 degrees that phase difference of 180 degrees generates uh, generates a phase change of minus cos omega ct so minus root 2 ps cos omega ct will be the uh, magnitude for data 0 so this is the definition for bpsk uh, as we studied in the chapter 2 okay now please substitute the corresponding magnitudes corresponding magnitudes of x of t so one is positive magnitude which is root 2 ps cos omega ct and the other is negative magnitude which is minus root 2 ps cos omega ct please substitute in the expression of square of output snr square of output snr uh, so what is the expression how much you got 2 by n naught integral 0 to tb x1 of t minus x2 of t what is x1 of t first two magnitude that is a root 2 ps cos omega ct a psk signal for positive magnitude that is root 2 ps cos omega ct minus of minus uh, so minus x2 of t x2 of t is once again minus root 2 ps cos omega ct so you will get minus root 2 ps cos omega ct so here minus of minus so it will lead to positive it leads positive component so root 2 ps into cos omega ct plus root 2 ps into cos omega ct whole square the magnitude square of this whole function so let us simplify this expression so that you can get the square of output snr okay we can move to the next slide So if you observe this uh, simplification, so rho max will be 2 by n naught integral 0 to tb root 2 ps cos omega ct plus root 2 ps cos omega ct. It will be 2 root 2 ps to root of 2 ps into cos omega ct whole square. Okay. See if you observe the uh, like constant values, it will be 2 square 2 square into a root 2 ps whole square so root and uh, square gets cancelled so 2 ps into 2 square 2 square is 4 so 4 into 2 ps will be 8 ps 8 ps into 2 will be 16 ps by n naught 16 ps by n naught integral 0 to tb cos square omega ct dt cos square omega ct dt so it is equal to 16 ps by n naught integral 0 to tb cos square you can replace uh, with the help of trigonometric expression as 1 plus cos 2 omega ct divided by 2 1 plus cos 2 omega ct divided by 2 dt now actually if you observe this term so 1 by 2 is a dc component and cos 2 omega ct is a higher frequency component once this is allowed to the low pass filter because uh, in the output section so while calculating the outputs output snr uh, in the receiving section we'll have a low pass filter low pass filter at the output section okay so that low pass filter do not allow this cos 2 omega ct component because 2 omega c is a higher frequency component omega c is a higher frequency and 2 or twice that of value will be a higher frequency component so that will not be allowed by our low pass filter used at the receiver section 
that is at the output section. So that's why eliminating the second term, eliminating the second term, you will directly obtain as 8 PS by n naught integral 0 to T B dt. So the integration of dt will be T and applying the limits you will get T B. So here we eliminated the second uh, term because once this is allowed by the low pass filter, our uh, low pass filter present at the output section do not allow this higher frequency component. So directly you will get 8 PS by N naught into this integration of 1 DT that will be T and if you apply the limits you will get TB, TB minus 0 so it will be TB only. So finally you got the square of output SNR as 8 PS TB by N naught. So here PS into TB is once again nothing but the bit energy. So 8 EB by N naught. See here you obtained 8 PS into TB by N naught. You can also mention this as 8 EB by N naught where EB is the bit energy which is the uh, product of power dissipated per symbol and bit duration. So but the output SNR can be obtained by taking the square root of rho max because the rho max is the square of output SNR. But if you want output SNR, apply root to that so that square and root gets cancelled. So square of output SNR is rho max. So output SNR will be root rho max which is equal to uh, you know already what is rho max x naught 1 of t minus x naught 2 of t divided by sigma whole square. But under root to the upper t, so root and uh, square gets cancelled. So finally you will get a root rho max. So what is rho max? 8 PS TB by N naught. So root rho max will be a root of 8 PS into TB into divided by N naught where PS into TB is the bit energy EB. Okay, so what is the output SNR? What is the output SNR for BPSK system? We obtained as a root root of 8 PS into TB divided by N naught. It is also defined as root of 8 EB by N naught. Now I request any one of the student please tell me what is the output SNR value for BASK system. We calculated it in the last class. What is the probability of error for BASK system? Any one of you. So 50 students are there. Any one of the student please tell me what is the probability of error expression? What is the probability of error expression for? Okay, before probability of error, at least tell me what is the output SNR obtained from for binary ASK? Please tell me. Square root of 2 PS into TB by N naught. Square root of 2 PS into TB by N naught. So uh, can you tell me uh, PS into TB is EB. You can write it as 8 EB by N naught. And uh, for uh, BPSK you can mention it as 2 root of 2 EB by N naught. So what you can conclude from output SNR expressions of BPSK and BASK whichever is higher. Which one is a higher value? Which system provides you high output SNR? BPSK or BASK? BPSK ma'am. B? BPSK. BPSK. Why? Because its output SNR is a root high. high. If you want to write this in terms of 2 EB by N naught, how can you write? 2 root 2 EB by N naught. So, nth uh, untundi approximate ga our probability of error for BPSK is how many times that of BASK? 
టూ టైమ్స్ మ్యామ్ ఎస్ టూ టైమ్స్ ఓకే సో అలాంటి బిట్స్ కూడా రావచ్చు మీకు పాసిబిలిటీ ఉంది సో ద అవుట్పుట్ ఎస్ఎన్ఆర్ ఆఫ్ బిపిఎస్కే సిస్టమ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఆల్ ట్వైస్ టు దట్ ఆఫ్ అవుట్పుట్ ఎస్ఎన్ఆర్ ఆఫ్ బిఏఎస్కే సిస్టమ్ so that's why output snr uh, that's why in the second chapter whenever i told you in the advantages of bpsk i told you the output snr for uh, bpsk is high i told you like that so why it is high because it is uh, two root 2 eb by n0 so if you want to write this in terms of eb by n0 2 eb by n0 you can write it as 2 root of 2 eb by n0 so almost all output snr is twice that of the output snr of bask so that's why you can conclude that the output snr for bpsk system is high almost all twice to that of bask okay next let us go through the calculation of probability of error for bpsk system so what we did here we can we calculated the output snr what is output snr x01 of t minus x02 of t divided by sigma we considered that as the output snr because uh in numerator you will have change in the output signal and denominator is the deviation in the output noise that is the standard deviation so just to replace this uh, output snr which is x01 of t minus x02 of t divided by sigma how much you got for bpsk a root 8 ps into tb divided by n0 whole divided by what is the left over constant value here 2 root 2 so divided by 2 root 2 see upon simplification see here root 8 is nothing but 2 root 2 root 8 is nothing but 2 root 2 upon simplification the probability of error for bpsk system is obtained as here root 8 you can replace it as 2 root 2 so 2 root 2 you have in the numerator and denominator you have every time you will have 2 root 2 constant so denominator you will have 2 root 2 so 2 root 2 2 root 2 gets cancelled here so you will get it as half erfc of root over ps into tb divided by n0 root over ps into tb divided by n0 what is ps into tb the product of power dissipated per symbol and bit duration every time we defined it as a bit energy eb so that's why upon replacing ps into tb as bit energy you can also get it as probability of error is half erfc of root eb by n0 so almost all we assumed the same case for master filter so that's why we will we obtain uh, the same probability of error as half erfc of root eb by n0 so what is the final probability of error expression for bpsk system half erfc of root over eb by n0 if you carefully observe this equation actually we have replaced this output snr in terms of input snr please observe here we are defining every time output snr what is that output snr we got as 8 root 8 eb by n0 okay and even we may, we are representing the probability of error in terms of eb by n0 what is eb actually eb is the bit energy which is defined based on the transmitted signal that is nothing but the modulated signal and here n0 n or we can say that that is the input signal okay. and what is n0 n0 is the fourier transform n0 by 2 is the psd or the fourier transform of the input noise component so that's why we can say that the numerator eb by n0 in the numerator you will have input signal component and n0 is the psd of input noise only so that's why uh, this you can say that you are representing the output snr in terms of input snr so here this erfc function already i told you this gives a complement relation complement a relationship between the probability of error and output snr as in when the output snr increases our probability of error will decrease and for example if our output snr reduces the probability of error will increase so this gives the complement relation or like inverse relationship okay now uh, any one of the student please tell me what is the probability of error expression for bask system how much we got 
last class itself we calculated the probability of error for binary ask system what is the expression let us compare the expression with our uh, obtained pe for bpsk tell me any one of you Chapanma, what is the probability of error expression for BASK system? See, we got almost all in the same form, but enter chin chapandi. Half ERFC of square root EB by 4 and not now. Hmm. What you can conclude, uh, which probability of error is uh, more? So can you compare the probability of error expressions for BPSK and BASK? For BASK, error is more. Error is more because output SNR uh, like inside the root, it is reduced by a factor of four. So obviously the probability of error for BASK is higher compared to BPSK. So what are the two conclusions that we can say here? Uh, because the output SNR is root 8 EB by N0, output SNR for BPSK is almost all twice to that of uh, our BASK. Okay, and if you observe the probability of error, it is almost all, error is reduced to half because here you have EB by N0, but in the BPSK you got it, BASK you obtained as EB by 4 N0. So inside the root, if you have 4, if you take it out, it will be uh, like 1 by 4. If you take it out, uh, it will be 1 by 2. So overall probability of error for BPSK is reduced to half compared to our BASK. Okay, so that is the conclusion uh, from both the probability of error as well as uh, in both aspects, both output SNR as well as the probability of error for BPSK system. Now, module, this module has completed. With this module, you should be able to derive the expression for output SNR and probability of error for BPSK system. Um, with this, we can conclude our module. So before going to the BFSK, I request any one of the student, uh, please uh, revise what I told to you because we are following the same uh, like methodology for calculation of probability of error for every system. So we are using the optimum filter probability of error expression. So I request any one of the student, please uh, tell me what you understood, uh, like how to evaluate the probability of error. What are the steps you used to calculate the probability of error? First, you will calculate the output SNR and then the probability of error. See, one of the student, please tell me uh, what are the various steps used to calculate the output SNR and probability of error for BPSK system. So I will change the slides accordingly. So don't get tense with that. Just you go through that and explain what you understood. That is enough. So any one of the student, it will take uh, two to three minutes. I request any one of the student. Other than J4. So many 53 students are there. Huh? Any other student, please kindly go through the PPT, which I will show you and uh, explain what you understood. What are the various steps? So any one of you, then we can continue with BFSK. How many of you understood uh, the concept? Please raise your hand so that I can see how many of you understood the procedure to calculate the probability of error. Please raise your hand. No one understood. 
प्लीज रेज योर हैंड then i will call the roll numbers l4 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 L9 L9 Ma uh, L9 can you uh, did you understood the steps followed to calculate the probability of error Yes ma Can you raise your voice koncham gattiga maatladandi ma Yes ma Ledinte what okay ఒకసారి చెప్పండి కెన్ యూ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ద స్టెప్స్ ओके मैम ओके इनपुट नॉइस पर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी इज वाइड इन नेचर ओके इन एसएनए ऑफ एट लीस्ट एंड नॉट बाय टू ओके वेरी गुड दिस सब्स्टिट्यूट दैट इन स्क्वायर ऑफ आउटपुट एस इन आर मैक्स ओके मैम ओके देन वी यू वी यू पार्शियल थ्योरम Good, good. Continue. Again, we will read the square of output test in that. Okay. Then the input signal x of t will be defined as x one of t minus x two of t. Okay. And where x x one of t is the positive magnitude and x two of t is negative magnitude. Okay, good. in the again in square of output s in r then we'll take the bsk signal which is defined as root ps cos omega t t for data one and minus root ps cos omega c t for data data zero okay then we substitute that in square of output in output s in our equation okay by uh, integrating the as the low pass filter does not allow high frequency component cos omega c t is neglected then we get the uh, square of output s in our equation as a p s t b y n not okay then uh, output tensor is taken as the root of square root of rho max so output tensor equation becomes root of a p s t b by n not okay so here only you tell me one statement that how it is related to output tensor of b a s k it is twice of bs okay in notebook you write down that point so i will change the ppt and in notes also you mention that here the output snr you can write in terms of root 2eb by n not as 
2 into 2 root e b by n naught. That is almost all output SNR is twice to that of output SNR of uh, BPSK is twice to that of output SNR of BASK. Okay. Good. Continue. Then uh, we'll take, uh, we'll substitute that output SNR equation in probability of error expression. Okay. By cancelling the terms, we get probability of error for BPSK system as half ERFC into root PSTB by N0, where okay. PSTB is equal to EB, which is bit energy. And the probability error for BPSK system is same as that of matched filter. Okay. And how you can compare this with uh, BASK? Can you compare this with uh, BASK? Ma. Yes, madam. This. It is how much? Twice. Half to that of B A S K. Very good. Okay, ma. Thank you. Uh, so, okay, thank you. You can mute yourself. Okay. Now uh, move to the. With this, we can conclude this module because you have. Uh, uh, otherwise, you can directly write here as the probability of. Uh, Error for BPSK is almost all half to that of uh, half to that of BASK system. Similarly, let us move to the BFSK. So in BFSK, you can uh, how can you define BFSK signal? BFSK is the change in the carrier frequency okay there we have defined two carrier frequencies one is higher frequency that is the increase in the carrier frequency and the lower frequency the which is the decrease in carrier frequency okay now i will add that point here so the prob the output snr SNR for BPSK system is almost all, almost is twice to that of BSK system. Okay, with this we can conclude our module. Now let us move to the BFSK. So with this we can uh, close our BFSK. Okay, next is BFSK. See, almost all will follow the same steps for both for uh, calculation of BFSK, but here we'll change the X1 of T and X2 of T value. So here also we'll derive the probability of error. First we'll derive the output SNR and we'll substitute that in probability of error to calculate the PE for BFSK. So here also we'll make use of same steps. See, first of all, we took uh, the optimum filter probability of error expression and then we considered X01 of T minus X02 of T divided by sigma whole square as rho max and that should be maximized. Uh, if it is maximized, the, the value will be minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square divided by SNI of f df. And then once again, what we did, we considered the input noise to be white in nature. So SNI of f will replace as n0 by 2. So we will get it as 2 by n0 integral minus infinite to plus infinite mod x of f square df. Then what we did, we used once again same procedure like first two slides are almost all common for all the derivations because almost all same steps we are following except that uh, the input levels. Okay, except that we will change the input levels of 
X1 of t and X2 of t for a particular system. For a particular, for ASK, X1 of t is uh, AC cos omega CT, X2 of t is 0. And uh, for BPSK, you will have phase variation. The phase variation will be root 2PS cos omega CT for data bit 1 and minus root 2PS cos omega CT for data bit 0. And sim but in the case of BFSK, you will have frequency change. Okay, so FC is uh, varied with some factor. So here, uh, coming to the second slide, here just we'll replace mod x of f square df as mod x of t square dt using Parseval's theorem. And but what is x of t? x of t is a change in the input signal. So we can represent as x1 of t minus x2 of t, where x1 of t is the positive magnitude of the input and x2 of t is the negative magnitude. x2 of t is the negative negative magnitude of the input signal okay so accordingly you will get uh, integral minus infinite to plus infinite x1 of t minus x2 of t whole square dt so later we'll define the uh, now you uh, take these two inputs and try to solve it by tomorrow Otherwise, we'll dis we can as usual, we'll discuss in the classroom, but you try to solve. So B BFSK signal, how can you define BFSK signal? It is the it is a change in the carrier frequency. It is the change in the carrier frequency with respect to with respect to input magnitude levels. Input magnitude levels are 1 and 0 here. So for the data bit 1, you can define x1 of t as root 2 ps cos of this carrier frequency omega c is changed by a factor of uh, this omega. This is analog omega. Okay, let us suppose the change in the carrier frequency be analog omega. So omega c plus omega for data bit 1 and omega c minus analog omega for data bit 0. So the increase in the carrier frequency or decrease in the carrier frequency. So increase in the carrier frequency for whenever the input is at high level. Uh, whenever the input is at low level, that is uh, uh, 0 because uh, here the input signal is unipolar format. It is in unipolar format. So that's why for data 1, the increase in the frequency be plus omega. And uh, for data 0, the decrease in the frequency be minus omega okay now i request uh, the students to please substitute x1 of t as root 2 ps cos omega c plus omega into t for data bit 1 that is x1 of t and for uh, data bit 0 the magnitude we considered as x2 of t that is root 2 ps cos omega c minus omega into t please substitute and try to solve by tomorrow Okay, try to get it by tomorrow or else we can discuss in the classroom. And another thing is uh, like only other than this BFSK, we need to calculate the probability of error for QPSK. With this almost till we can conclude our chapter. So uh, tomorrow like, uh, you try to So before that, you tell me how many of you have downloaded the material uh, what I have uploaded in your uh, WhatsApp group. Please raise your hands. How many of you have downloaded the material DC material which I have uploaded in the WhatsApp group? Please raise your hands. In the chat box I can see. Please raise your hand. You have option here. Please raise your hand. So that I can see how many of you are gathering the material and seeing it. Nobody. Please raise your hand.
అఖిల్ మరి ఏంటి రేజ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ రేజ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ అని అరుస్తుంటే అట్లీస్ట్ మీరు హ్యాండ్స్ కూడా రేజ్ చేయట్లేదు నేను ఆన్సర్స్ ఎక్స్పెక్ట్ చేయట్లేదు అట్లీస్ట్ యూ షుడ్ రేజ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ యూ షుడ్ రెస్పాండ్ టు ద టీచర్ ప్లీజ్ రేజ్ యువర్ హ్యాండ్ చెప్పమ్మా పుణ్యావతి చెప్పండి Ah, okay, I I have seen your hand. Others? ఇంకెవరు డౌన్లోడ్ చేసుకోలేదా అఖిల్ keep it in your uh, desktop somewhere you store like digital communication dika or uh, different different subjects you have so store the material and other thing is not only that uh, material provided by the teacher please write the notes whenever the class is going on so meer theory topics rasana raipaina parled kani but uh, um, mathematical analysis unde tappudu meer kachithanga meer adi notes unte better that is my suggestion so i cannot restrict you because uh, you are an engineering student and uh, you are third year student so nenu restrict cheyalenu but notes undali ani but notes unte better so that's my opinion so that you have you can handle uh, anywhere and more comfortable to you if it's your handwriting so me melaga material provide chestamo but meeru me side nunchi entante meer notes raaskuntu undandi so the key points kinda na at least whenever we upload take that and uh, write whenever you are free so practice uh, gives you so the more you practice the more you can easily attempt in the examination that's the thing not other than that and the material lokati download cheskondi and i will upload the probability of error for bask and bpsk if it upload chesestanu and uh, any other doubts other than this okay tomorrow we can continue the class so meanwhile i will take the attendance please wait okay ma i took attendance you can leave if any doubts you can ask so material i will post other other doubts you can ask or else you can leave the class i took attendance